Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Destiny 2 weekly reset video. My name is Story, and today is July 28th. And due to physics and science and things like that, well, it, we're running up until the 4th of August. So can you believe August is already here with us? Anyway, without further ado, let's get stuck into it. What have we got to do in Destiny 2 this week? Well, if you're new to the game, welcome. Come on in, pull up a pew and pour yourselves a brew and regard the items on Le Menu, the tower map. Here it is. What are all these lovely icons? Well, the this is the reason why we have a look at this tower map, because these represent vendors, and vendors are distributors of cha weekly challenges, bounties, and quests. All the things that you love to do in return for some lovely loot, which is one of the main reasons why we play. For example, if we have a look at this spare parts vendor challenge from our lovely one and only gunsmith, his weekly, his weekly challenge is complete gunsmith bounties. So eight of those completed will get you some powerful gear at tier one. The gear comes in a variety of tier, tiers these days. Tier one, two, three, and pinnacle loot being the most powerful available to you at this current time. Then there's more weekly challenges here from our very own Shax. In the Crucible, eight of his bounties for powerful gear at tier one. The same with Zavala with his stony blue baby blue eyes look at that he's so stern and then the same with the drifter over there as well uh if you're a member of a clan you can earn 5000 xp for your character and uh, get yourself some powerful gear at tier two from the lovely hawthorne and then don't forget we've got the season of the arrivals Ch weekly challenge complete the means to an end quest line for your pinnacle gear and you can keep doing this each week for your lovely juicy pinnacle gear so there you go that is the tower map moving on we're going to have a look at the destinations. Now, this is your director screen, which will reveal all of the locations in the Destiny universe currently available to us. Uh, for example, we're going to start off with the Vanguard playlist, which has four items on the menu. Over here, we've got daily heroic story missions. You don't particularly get anything uh, powerful from the replaying these campaign missions from all the previous campaigns and the different seasons, but you might get some in-game in drops and a bit of nostalgia as well from playing some of the older content, but it is, it's still, it's valuable nonetheless. But if you want some pinnacle loot, start off with the Vanguard Strikes playlist. Three of these strikes completed using these attributes, uh, the, the same subclass element as the currently active elemental burn, that will get you some pinnacle loot. To find out what the uh, currently active ele elemental burn is, is uh, just click on the, uh, the old playlist and have a look at this. There it is, Void Singe for the week. And we've got daily modifiers, which are iron and heavyweight. These will rotate on a 24-hour basis at the daily reset. Then we have the nightfall, the ordeal, the big, bad, ugly strike. The one that's so scary, it'll cause you to break wind and giggle. And uh, this week, it happens to be Savathun Song. So uh, if you're after the duty-bound auto rifle, which is actually pretty decent. I tried that in PvP not so long ago, and it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad for a golden Aldi, so it's still worth grinding for. But anyway, the main reason why you'll play this strike is for all the powerful rewards. Now we've got the weekly challenges here. Run the ordeal a few times and you'll get some powerful gear at tier one. And then if you complete the nightfall ordeal with a team score above 100,000 points, that will land you your pinnacle loot. We've also got the Grand Master Challenge at 1100 power as well. That will get you some more chances at exotic gear and ascendant shards if you're willing to go in there and be strong and brave anyway we've got the normal nightfall playlists as well uh this week we've got the insight terminus the pyramidian and the hollowed lair these three strikes do each have a, spe a piece of specific loot that you can grind the strike through over and over again the more you play uh and the more you don't get anything that increases the odds that you'll actually get said piece of specific loot for example the insight terminus boasts the long goodbye sniper rifle one of my favorites, the Pyramidian will have you the uh, Silicon Aroma sniper rifle and the Hollowed Lair will get you the very treasured um, Mindbender's uh, Ambition shotgun. So uh, have at it, have some with that. Let's see what you get. Anyway, moving on, let's have a look at the Gambit playlist. We've got our PVE activity here, the Reckoning that comes in a variety of different flavors, tier one, two, and three. Uh, you can replay these for... Um, a chance at some uh, season of the drifter loot, for example. There you go. If you're after any of that kind of stuff for the uh, titles and whatnot, we've got the solar singe for the week. And today's modifier is heavyweight. Then we've got our gambit playlist, gambit vanilla, 
and Gambit Deluxe. Three three games in either or of these playlists will land you some pinnacle gear. So, And then, of course, there's private matches should you want to uh, grab hold of your relatives and uh, see who can defeat the Prime Evil quicker. There you go. Then we've got a Crucible playlist, two types of playlists, or yeah, it's selections rather that we can go through in here. We've got our Rotary playlist at the top here, which consists of Mayhem this week and Breakthrough. So there is a, a 6v6 Mayhem mode where you'll get your supers more often and abilities more often. And then you've got Breakthrough at 4v4, more competitive game mode. I quite like this. You can rack up an obscene amount of eliminations if you play right. Um, but anyway, uh, four games completed in the Rotator Matches playlist will get you some powerful gear at Tier 1. Then we have our core playlist, which consists of Rumble, Control, Elimination, Survival, Freelance Survival, and Classic Six Stack, as we like to call it over here. Four games of that in either of those playlists there that will get you some pinnacle gear. And of course, there's private matches if you'd like to 1v1 your nan. Of course, she's going to win hands down. Anyway, what else is there to do? Well, I like the moon. The moon's got plenty of activities. Uh, we've got our Nightmare Hunts, for example. The weekly there complete some Nightmare Hunts, three of, to be precise. We'll get you some powerful gear at Tier 1. If you complete a Nightmare Hunt at Master Difficulty, then you'll get some, some pinnacle loot. How's about that, then? I can hear you screaming with excitement. Uh, talking about pinnacle loot, we've got the Pit of Heresy Dungeon here, which will also award you some pinnacle loot as well. Then there's Sora's Harbour. This is a great place if you want to farm some um, legendary marks or weapons, for example. Altars of Sorrow, great little public event. Um, don't forget our vendors down here. Nightmares Defeated, 30 of, that is in Sorrow's Harbor, and that will get you some powerful gear at Tier 1. And then Eris Morn has her quest line as well. That will get you some powerful gear at Tier 1 as well. What else is there this week? Well, if we have a look, um, of course, we've got Escalation Protocol. Over on Mars, it's an, it's an older activity, but if you're uh, after titles and want to put things in your collection, the SMG is dropping from that this week, so have at that. The Over in the Dreaming City, the Ascended Challenge is in Harbinger Seclude, if you're interested in that, but don't forget to go and get your bounties from Petrovenge first. She's all the way over there, look. Uh, there you go. Flashpoint this week happens to be on the Tangled Shore. What's a Flashpoint? Well... Uh, public events will materialize, and if you get involved in these public events, you'll push up this progress bar over by Spider, the lovely man who swaps things for other things at ex exorbitant prices. Uh, but pump that activity activity bar up to 100%, and that'll get you some powerful gear at Tier 1. So there you go. The Flashpoint is on the Tangled Shore. Now, what we like to do about this time of the week is dip into um, some of the vendors' bounty Nomlin, nomenclature, is that the right, right way of, pr of pronouncing it? But anyway, here you go. We've got a couple of weekly bounties from the Gunsmith, for example, which will award you XP, Glimmer, and an upgrade module, which is very important for upgrading things. Then we've got our daily bounties, which will award you some XP, mod components, and enhancement cores, which will also help you with upgrading things. Then additional bounties right on the very end. These can be plucked uh, whenever you like, basically the daily bounties will refresh on the daily reset. The weekly bounties refresh on the weekly reset, but the additional bounties, you can just keep hoarding them and, and indulging on them, but they do cost quite a lot of glimmer. So watch your glimmer disappear. Anyway, uh, the material exchange from the gunsmith, he has two mods each day. These, uh, will rotate on a, the daily reset. So at the moment we've got this, uh, armor mod striking light and we've got a weapon mod there, free hand grip. We can also exchange some things for some other things. Isn't that fabulous? Now, I've recently started running over to the Crucible vendor because we wrap up the video by having a look in the Eververse store. Now, you can actually get stuff from the Eververse store without having to spend your own hard-earned peanuts. You don't have to spend money. You can spend bright dust. So if we look at Shax's weekly bounties, they award bright dust, although it doesn't really go into the specifics of how much bright dust it awards. And if I remember correctly, it's 200 apiece or a hundred a piece, something like that. Anyway, I, it, it's been a while since I've paid attention. But anyway, the weekly bounties award Bright Dust. The daily bounties award Crucible Tokens of Valor Rank Points. But his additional bounties also award Bright Dust. So do the Vanguard's additional bounties, and so do the Drifter as well. So you can rack up quite amount of Bright Dust on your characters per week, which will segue for us now into uh, the Eververse store. Now you can pick up things for Bright Dust in here as well as silver, which translates to real money. 
So this is the uh, weekly offerings. This is the featured section. And this week we have the Canopus Wing exotic ship. It's orange and white, and uh, it looks like a singular wing. I quite like it. And from the back, it'll have two large round balls. I'm not sure how many of you will be enchanted by such a thing, but that's what it has. That is the Canopus Wing. Then we've got the August Quarter exotic sparrow. It's blue. It's white. It's quite nondescript, but it's got a lovely red insignia on it. How's about that? Then there's the heated exchange weapon ornament for the last word, even though the poor thing has been nerfed into the ground. Uh, unless you're on a controller, if you use controller or on console, apparently it's quite good now as well, but that is a nice ornament. But RRP if you are uh, on a mouse and keyboard. Anyway, then there is the SK-1 multiband rover exotic sparrow with a rotating disc. And if there was any people out there that didn't want a rotating disc on their sparrow, well, tough tit, because here it is. And it's available there for 800 silver. Then we've got some ghost projections. And this is the daily section. I, I quite enjoy this because you'll see some items come back from previous seasons. So that uh, check back each day on the daily reset. This will change. And at the moment, we've got one fell swoop. It's another sparrow. And it's blue and white. And it's got lots of aerial dynamics, aerodynamics on it, which is good. Then we've got stuff available in the featured section for bright dust consumables that give you various buffs. We've got the Canopus shell as well. Look at that. Does it take a shader? Mm-hmm. That's interesting, isn't it? Quite nice. There you go. And the perks on that. Guiding Light and Banshee's favorite. Then we've got a weapon ornament four is an Argus body shot, which is fantastic. And then there is ghost projections and some shaders. Now, in the seasonal section, these are all the ornaments uh, for exotic pieces of armor as well as weaponry that are from previous seasons. We've also got finishing moves there as well as emotes there's a load of stuff to go through there but be aware items may become available for purchase after the season ends so if there's anything that you've got your heart set on maybe uh, snap it up before it's disappeared and uh, everyone will be sad then there is the archive which if it didn't disappear this is where it goes and lives so there is quite a lot of stuff here but by no means is there everything so uh, peruse that at your leisure now this is the bright dust section specifically the bright dust section so uh, this week's choice is the Frrrk victory. That sounds quite hard to pronounce. Um, and anyway, it involves flares. There you go. It's lovely. Then there's the Augur shell with the uh, public defender and treasure hunter. And then the VG-17 flying fortress. Look at that. And it is, is a fortress. But it kind of looks like a puzzle that I'd like to solve in a doctor's waiting room. And there we go. Sign of approval. You're a true artist. That's an emote with a pointy finger and the wave of a hand and a thumbs up. That's just what you were looking for. Then we've got the intrepid discovery strides. I don't have those. I should have those. I'm going to buy them. Then there is the violent exorcism, uh, or as I've called that in the past, the violent orgasm by mistake. I do apologize. Anyway, that is the weapon ornament for the arbalest, and that is the best one, in my opinion. If you haven't got it, I would snap it up because it does make it look much better. Anyway, there's the crown of sorrow projection, which is good because it's green. And who doesn't like green? No one. And then there's some flare. We've got plenty of shaders and transmat effects and things. And then there's your consumables. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of the weekly reset video from July 28th up until August the 4th. So I will love you and leave you. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Remember, take care of yourselves and each other. Smoke me a kipper. I'll be back for breakfast.